key difference in dangerous. It's an implement likely to produce death or great bodily injury in the manner it's used or attempted to be used, as opposed to deadly weapon, which is a gun or a knife. It is specifically designed for killing. All right, today we're coming at you with another big type of a crime, another 85% crime. Assault and battery with a deadly weapon versus assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. What's the difference? Why am I gonna get charged with one over the other? What are the range of punishments? Okay, guys, these are pretty serious crimes. We're talking about assault and battery with a deadly weapon. What are we talking about? Any instrument, any weapon designed to cause death or great bodily injury is what we're talking about. So these are the guns, knives, switchblades, brass knuckles, cane swords, anything that is specifically constructed, designed, and manufactured with the intention of inflicting great bodily injury and or death. When you're going to inflict an assault and a battery against another with this deadly weapon, it means you're actually going to be hitting that person with it, shooting that person. Okay. So under the same statute, the assault and battery with a deadly weapon, we also have the shooting with intent to kill statute. S-W-I-K, we call it SWIC in the business, shooting with intent to kill. Sounds cool, funny name, but carries an amazing range of punishment, okay? So the range of punishment on assault and battery with a deadly weapon is zero to life in prison. Yeah, because it's kind of like a, an attempted murder statute. We don't actually have that in the state of Oklahoma, but if you inflict an assault and battery with a deadly weapon, shooting with intent to kill. That's an attempted homicide. That's why their sentencing range is up to life. Now, one thing is before we get to the dangerous weapon portion of it is, you should know, is if you used a vehicle to discharge the firearm, okay, your minimum starts at two, not at zero. So there's an enhancement within that statute. So if you're involved in a drive-by shooting, shooting with intent to kill, and you used a vehicle to discharge that firearm, the number's two to life, not zero to life. Okay, so let's take a look at the assault and battery with a dangerous, because I'll be honest with the DA's office themselves, they make this mistake, it's common, where they'll charge somebody with a deadly weapon as opposed a, to a dangerous weapon. And a dangerous weapon is an implement likely to produce death or great bodily injury in the manner it is used or attempted to be used, as opposed to a deadly weapon that's designed for killing or great bodily injury. So, key difference in dangerous. It's an implement likely to produce death or great bodily injury in the manner it's used or attempted to be used, as opposed to deadly weapon, which is a gun or a knife. It is specifically designed for killing. So what is a dangerous weapon? Baseball bat, car, beer bottle, golf club, two by four, kindling, anything that was designed for everyday use, but in the manner in which you're using it, such as a baseball bat designed to hit a baseball. But if you're using it to hit someone else, okay, that baseball bat goes from fun and recreation to a dangerous weapon. You're drinking beer out of a beer bottle. It's a great vessel for holding ice cold, tasty beverages. But as soon as you use it to hit someone else, it becomes a dangerous weapon. Now, there are, there is an actual technical definition for deadly weapon and dangerous weapon. And when you look in at the statute and you look at the jury instructions, they're almost identical. But really the key language is what we discussed just a moment ago. An implement likely to produce death or great bodily injury in the manner it is used or attempted to be used. And so what are we saying there? Any normal everyday item, if it's used, in a manner to produce death or great bodily injury, that normal everyday item becomes a dangerous weapon. That's how a glass, a bottle, a remote, anything can become a dangerous weapon. Key point about that also is the range of punishment is zero to 10 years. You take a baseball bat to someone, zero to 10 years. You use a gun, switchblade on someone, up to life. And if you use a car to discharge that firearm, it's two to life. So if you find yourself in any one of these situations, you think this might be the right place for you. 
These guys have got it dialed in. Pick up the phone, set that initial strategy meeting. You're going to meet with myself, my assistant. Okay. We're going to unpack all the facts of the case and give you a good roadmap for success. You should walk out of there feeling better about your prospects. You'll have some hope. More importantly, you'll have a strategy and a plan moving forward. All right. This is late till the next one.